Hi, I'm Kelly from Kelly J Jewelry. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make these cute little earrings. They're made using the little round cabbage on. If you want to use a slightly bigger one and make a bigger pendant, then you can. You need to adjust your wire lengths. I've put a list of everything you'll need to make these earrings in the description below, along with links to my Etsy shop where I sell my PDF tutorials, if anyone's interested in those, they're written with um, photograph, follow along style tutorials. And there are links to my Facebook page and Instagram. To make these earrings you'll need 0.8mm wire, that's 20 gauge, and I've cut 6 lengths at 10 inches each, that's 25 and a half centimetres. Weaving wire is 0.3mm wire, that's 28 gauge, and you'll need about 100 centimetres. I've got two small round cabochons, mine are 10 millimetres each. If you want to use slightly bigger um, stones, just make sure you use a little bit more wire. I've got jump rings as well, mine are 8mm outside measurements and you'll need two ear wires as well. You'll also need two 3mm beads and two 2mm beads. Tools, I've got pliers, round nose pliers, wire cutters and nylon pliers. If you don't have nylon pliers, don't worry, they're just for straightening wire. Um, if you want to see the tools that I use, I've put links in the description below so you can have a look if you want to. Also, my um, weaving wire actually comes on these little plastic spools, so I'll be working from that. Normally, I use a bobbin. I've also put a link to the bobbins in the description below. If you don't have bobbins or a spool, don't worry, you can just cut lengths as you go. So if you take three of your wires and hold it right in the middle with your thumb like that, and we're going to start weaving to the left of your thumb, just there. So take your weaving wire and we're going to start with three wraps around the bottom wire. And then we'll go twice around the bottom two wires. Come up between those bottom two wires. We'll go twice around the top two wires. And we'll repeat that with the two wraps around the bottom two wires. up between two wraps around top two wires so I've done a total of five repeats and I'll finish with three wraps around that bottom wire Keep pushing your weave together as you go to keep it nice and tidy. And we'll cut off the weaving wire now at both ends. And when you're doing earrings, it's best to do them both at the same time so we can match them up as we go. I just like to flatten my weave with my nylon pliers. So take your other three wires and your weaving wire and do the same again. So you've got two like this. So now you should have two the same. So gently start to bend your weave. We're just going to get it started and then we're going to shape it around the stone. This is the top with the least wraps on. 
So your three wraps at the bottom or the back. So then take your stone and we're going to wrap the wire around the stone. So holding it the best you can. I'm going to take the wire around the stone. And then when we've got it the shape that we want it to, bend those wires out. So we've got this shape. And we'll do that for the other one as well. So then you should have two the same. And it'll sit. So you've got just a small gap above the stone there. So now take your weaving wire and we're going to attach all these wires together at the top. Making sure that your wires haven't crossed over each other. And we'll wrap three times around this bottom wire on this side, which is the wire at the back. And then pulling the wires together and again making sure that they haven't crossed over each other and they're all sat how you want them to. going to wrap around the whole thing five times and then pick that back wire again then we'll go three times around that back wire so that's all held nice and sturdy bottom wire so now we can shoot secure our stone now we fixed it at the top so position your stone in place we need to do is just separate these wires a bit at the sides so we want the wire to come over the stone at the back there and then take your pliers and we're going to grab the wire at the bottom there and just bend it in. Now as I bend it in, I'm holding it at the top so that the top stays in place but the bottom comes in. Do the same on the other side. I'm just pushing the wire against the stone there. We need to do the same on the front as well. If you do the back first, it kind of gives you a bit of a practice. So you'll be nice and tidy to do the front. So pull the wires forward so you've got a nice gap on the sides. And then right at the bottom, grab the wire firmly and bend it 
straight up, holding it in place at the top as you do that. Do the same on the other side. Making sure the wires are nice and tidy at the top there. Squeezing it all together into place. Okay, and we need to do that with the other one. So we keep doing the same on both. So they're both the same. At the minute, they're both identical to each other. So we need to do that to the other one. Well, before we do that, my weaving wire is still attached and I don't want to cut that off. So we'll just weave this back piece and then we'll move on to the other one. So I'm going to pull two wires forward on one side. Two wires forward on the other side. So you've got the two back wires in place there. Two back wires coming straight up. What we're going to do is just do a simple weave across these two wires just to make a bail so we can attach our jump rings. So we've already wrapped three times around the bottom wire. So now we're going to go straight over the top. And then come up between those two wires. Over the top. Under the bottom wire. Over the bottom wire. So I'll do that a few times so you can see the repeat. You go straight over the two wires, come up between the wires, and go over the top wire, under the bottom wire, and around that bottom wire. So we'll keep repeating that over both wires, up between over the top wire, under the bottom wire, and around the bottom wire. So we've repeated that little weave for about two centimetres. So I'm going to leave a short length on there now. And cut that wire so then I can do that to the other one. So now I'm going to move to the other one and catch up so they're both exactly the same. So now you should have something like this. And they've both got um, two centimetres of weave at the top. So now we're going to bend the top over, but you need them both to be the same. So it's best to use something if you can. I'm going to use a paintbrush. If you've got bail pliers, then you could use those. So you want them both to have the same size and shape now when you bend them over. So bend it straight over the back. And I'm going to bend that out so that when it meets, it's a bit fiddly to show you with all these long wires, so when it meets it comes flush to the back like that. I'm going to push it forward a little bit. And take your wire, holding it nice and close together, and you want to go around the whole thing to secure it all nice and close together. So 
separate the wires at the back and then pull in your wire nice and taut, nice and tight, secure it around one of the wires. We'll go around three times. So that's held it all together like that. And I'll cut that weaving wire. And then you need to do that for the other one. So that again, they're both exactly the same. So now you should still have two identical earrings so far. And it's at this point now where they go different ways. We're going to work one one way and one the other way. So they end up being opposites of each other. But up to this point, they're both exactly the same. So starting with the back, I'm going to bring these wires out. And we're going to cut them quite short. And then take your round nose pliers. And we're going to curl these up nice and tidy out of the way. match them up. You've got two little curls on the back and you want to close your curls so they don't catch on anything. And we do that for the other one as well. So I've done that to the other one. So you take one of your earrings and we want Three wires on one side, and one on the other. <coughs> and on the other one, we'll have three wires on this side. And one on the other. So now working with these three wires that are on the one side. Take this first one to start with. And we're going to scoop it around. And then we're going to go around again. But as it goes around again, we're going to add the larger of the beads. push the wires together there so the bead stays there. We're going to bring this wire up and straight around to the back. So as soon as you're happy with the shape, I'm going to push it back a little bit. Hold it in place. I'm going to bend that wire 
aligned to the back. Quite a small piece, so it's getting a bit fiddly now. So I suppose this could be a really tiny pendant if you wanted it to be, if you want to make something dinky. So take the second wire now. <clears throat> and we're going to take this wire around. And bring it down. And when it gets to here, I'm going to add a little loop. So holding it in place. going to twist a little loop there and we want to put the little bead on at this point so take your tiny bead continue to bend it around goes around to the back as well so holding it in place at the front squeeze it around to the back and then with the third wire around as well so it follows everything and if you do it nice and slow you can see to get your gaps right together at the top holding it in place scoop that wire around and follow the others I'm just going to push them all back a little bit Adjusting that looks a little bit wonky. And this last wire, we're going to scoop this around and do a big curl on it. So I'm going to cut it off about there. And with the round nose pliers, which is the best way to do it, we're going to curl it around. Into a big curly swirly. On this side here. So that's what I've got so far. This is the one doing all the snoring. <laughs> she stopped now and put the camera on her. <laughs> so to finish off these wires on the back I'm going to cut them short and wrap them around that edge those three on that one side I do recommend these cutters they are ever so good tronics tronics um, razor flush cutters and 
and then we're gonna bend these wires around and this is the fiddly bit around those three and then squeeze them into place two bits at a time so that holds them more securely on there we use a tiny one today and I still think that is a little bit wonky so now we need to catch up with the other one and do the same going all the other way so now working on the other one, starting with the three wires, we start with the first one. Now we need to do the opposite of this one. So here we've got everything going around in this kind of flow. So we need everything to come around this way. So we'll start with the middle wire. Oops. And we need it to curl around twice. And then we're going to put the larger bead onto it. So we need to scoop it around. I found with these curls, if you do it really slowly and you watch it taking shape, you can adjust it as it goes. And you can watch the shape starting to happen. You've got a lot more control over it that way. So I need my larger of the two beads now that on there. I'll buy my beads from eBay. If you just search sterling silver beads, there's a few on there. I'm in the UK. There's a few shops on there that sell them um, with the larger hole in the middle for the wire. So I've got a one millimetre hole on my beads. That goes like that. Once you're happy with the shape, hold it in place and bend the wire straight around the back. I watch myself bend that top piece then, that's why it keeps going wonky. So then the next wire, that needs to scoop around too. And I just wanted to say as well, I hope you all keep him well. It's not an easy time at the minute. And we're all getting through a lot of soap, I'm sure. <laughs> then we're going to put that little ring there at the bottom and we need to add the little bead. And I am going to squeeze that together a bit. It's a bit of a tricky one to do. And then that one needs to go around. Follow that wire. Just want to have a look how that one went. So I've overlapped the wire a little bit. That can come up a little bit. And then wrap it round the back. And 
And then the third wire, that scoops around two. Again, if you do it nice and slowly, you can see the shape. Try and match it up to the other one. And then hold it in place and send it around the back. And then this one is the big curly swirly on the other side. About, about there. We should have curled them both at the same time now so we've got them the same length. So that might be a slightly different length. So then curling it with your own nose pliers. I start curling it tight and then I just let it curl with a gap so it's curling a little bit bigger. I think this wire is quite a bit longer than the other one. A little bit. might trim a little bit extra off that wire. Oh yeah, I've cut a little bit extra off that wire and I've closed those curls up a little bit just so they don't snag on your hair if you're wearing it as an earring. So all that's left to do now is to cut the back and then bend those wires over those three there. So I've done that. Now all I need to add is jump rings and ear wires. So I've made my own jump rings and ear wires. The ear wires, I did a video of making the ear wires um, on one of my, begin I did a beginner part one and a beginner part two. So I've opened up the jump ring. Then I pop an ear wire on as well. So if you were doing this as a pendant, you could just pop your cord or your chain straight through that bail part. And that's it finished. I just need to attach the other one. So there we have it. Finished. And I hope you find this tutorial easy to follow. I'd love to see your finished work if you're on Facebook or Instagram. Please tag me. I'll pop over to my page and share an image on the page. And I am on the Facebook groups as well for wire work. If any of you are on there, I'll see you on there. So thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Oh, and before I... So don't forget, um, if when you are sharing your work online, please mention me if your work's made from my tutorials as a Kelly Jones design. Thank you.